Hi, I'm Jilly Dreadful, and if you want some recommendations for the Amazon Prime Day sale, then just keep on watching. If you can hear my husband talking in the background, he's gaming. Neither of us have our own personal enclosed gaming or office space. I'm down here in the living room, he's up in the loft, there's no actual walls up there. So yeah, he's trying to be as quiet as he can. And if at any point you enjoy this video, it would really help me out if you hit the like button. And if you liked this video enough, if you want to hang out with me further, if you could subscribe. I am doing 30 days of videos for the next 30 days on my channel. And this is day six. I'm just gonna jump into the video. I don't think you really need an explanation intro because the video is pretty self-explanatory. I have a few different categories that I'm going to be covering. Uh, home, electronic accessories, pets, clothing, beauty, and books. Just a quick disclaimer, these particular items may not necessarily be part of the Amazon Prime Day sale, but a lot of these companies, in order to compete with the Amazon Prime Day sale, they put their items up for discount anyway. So that's part of the reason why I'm doing it this way. Clothing. I have three bras in my recommendations because when you're a 38F, it is really hard. Why is this so hard? That's what she said. Oh my God, what did I say? It is really difficult to find bras that are budget friendly, that are comfortable. This is the Nidor adhesive bra strapless. The cool thing about this one is that it actually has cup sizes that go up to F because I'm a 38 F cup. And so it was just really difficult to find a sticky bra that like worked well and actually supported my chest in a way that it wasn't just like a glorified nipple cover so uh yeah this one is really great it actually works even if you're large chested like i am the bali comfort revolution wireless bra it's moisture wicking it's wire free it has a bunch of different colors i liked this bra so much that i bought a second one. It is the most comfortable bra I've ever worn. The last bra is the Vanity Fair Women's Full Figure Beauty Back Smoothing Bra and it's wire free and it has extra thick sides so that it is smoothing. The straps do not slide off my shoulder. It is really comfortable and I really and I think the price is great. It's not a bra, but it is underwear recommendation. We have the Warapa Women's High-Waisted Cotton Underwear. They're briefs and it's a multi-pack. There are four in a pack. These have the most comfortable waistband of any underwear that I've tried so far. So they're smoothing, but they're not thick material. And the elastic of the waistband is really nice and wide like a like like the best pair of yoga pants. Right now, they're $21.99, and I'm sure during Prime Day, they're gonna be on sale as well. This is the Sweaty Rocks Women's Long Sleeve Floral Print Pullover Hoodie Sweatshirt Tops. I don't know why they say floral print. It's not. <laughs> it's just color-blocked pastels, and there was a Nike sweatshirt that was a similar color block style a couple of years ago and I think it was at least 99 it could have been over a hundred dollars I found this as an alternative on Amazon and I bought it when it was way cheaper than $28.99 I'm sure it, it will probably go on sale for Prime Day because Sweaty Rocks what a weird name but Sweaty Rocks is kind of a big clothing store on Amazon and so I'm sure they're gonna have Prime Day sales. And it's really soft and it is really 
well made as well. I was shocked because I think I got it for like $14.99 when I originally bought it. And I have two lilac colored dresses. The first one is from Buy-In's Women's Sweetheart Neckline. And again, they have a bunch of different color options, but I, I personally have the purple one. What's really nice is that it is lined. A lot of these dresses on Amazon are not lined, but this one is. It's not that see-through. So I feel comfortable not necessarily wearing like bicycle shorts underneath, but I, I still do. Smocked detailing makes it really easy to fit a, a range of sizes. And I don't think it's necessarily like the best quality. It's definitely not as well made as the sweatshirt, but it was it's decent. I, I feel like I should be able to wear this for a few years. The other dress that I really like is this Belongsi Women's Summer Cute Dress Sweetheart Neckline Puff Sleeve and the Ruffle A-Line. I love the silhouette of this dress and when I wore it, I got so many compliments and I barely, ever, I barely even go anywhere. And literally everywhere I went that day, I got a bunch of compliments on my dress. So, um, I, this one is not lined and it is just a touch transparent so that you can kind of see like my underwear through it. So I do wear bicycle shorts with this one. Absolutely. But it is really darling on and it is comfortable and I think it's really f a flattering shape for a lot of different body types as well. Beauty stuff. Mm. One of my personal favorite items, the Esol Technology Multifunctional Makeup Organizer. I'll insert a little clip here. Uh, I have been using this for two years. I love it. It comes with a little crown decoration on top that you can use for holding jewelry or hair clips and I have mine with the antlers it also comes with and I also can like put you know I can hang scrunchies on it I can hang my rings on it I don't usually because I don't like it looking that messy she says as she shows you the clip where it is completely cluttered because I'm in the middle of filming 30 videos in 30 days. It's really sturdy so far. I've moved with it and it hasn't broken, not even the plastic little sliding door. I, I, I think it's a, a aesthetic AF <laughs> and kawaii AF and I really enjoy it. I have two brushes that I can't recommend enough. This is from the Enzo Ken store, the cream contour brush and it's $16.99. I had wanted originally this this rare beauty brush which is almost the exact same shape came out and I think that's like $30. It's my favorite foundation brush I've ever used and it's really good quality too because I've even washed it several times while having it and um, it does not lose any bristles. I, I mean it cleans up like a dream. It is yeah, it's a good, it's a good quality brush. The other brush I wanted to recommend was their concealer brush in this similar shape. And also I think Rare Beauty uh, came out with one as well and Zoeva. Again, theirs is way more expensive and this one is equally as good as the foundation brush. Uh, so these are the Rail, Rail? I don't know how to pronounce this brand's name, but it's the Miracle Invisible Spot Covers. They're the hydrocolloid acne like band-aids. I originally tried the CauseRx ones, which are really good, but you only get like 12 or 16 in a single packet and it's like $6. And so I was trying to find similar hydrocolloid um, spot covers, but you know, for a better price and these Rael ones are the like exact same quality as the CauseRx ones except you get 96 for almost the same price as like just two packs of the CauseRx ones. Hadalabo Gokujin Premium Hyaluronic Acid. This is five ounces or 170 mil and this is amazing. So this is a um, this is the premium 
hyaluronic acid from Hada Labo. It has five different forms of hyaluronic acid in it so that it really deeply penetrates the skin surface. Most hyaluronic acids, they're uh, just like a little bit of a thicker form of water. But this stuff feels plush in your hand, so it is really like luxurious to put on your face and it plumps everything up it feels so hydrating because it is dry skin keeping me hydrated and moisturized through the day and it wears really well under makeup as well this particular one is $12.99 for five ounces and the packaging on this is not the best because you have to like tear the corner off. I just have a tiny little one ounce bottle that I refill with this hyaluronic acid. And so it, you know, it takes me a while to go through it, but seriously, all I do is fold over the tab and clamp it down and it stays just as fresh as when I originally opened it. So it's not ideal for storage and if you have a better solution like yourself when you buy it you have like a bigger bottle to store it in i would recommend that over mine because mine is just a tad sus it might spill it could spill it hasn't yet but yeah so this is just a magical product glow recipe tries to sell a version of hyaluronic acid in like their their plum plump serum or something like that like 40 or 50 dollars for like one ounce and this stuff is so much better than that and it's five ounces for 12.99 okay so the first category is home mr pen portable door lock and it's really simple all you do is you choose one of the ends of this little key i don't know what else to call it little key latch and you just insert it into the door slot where the doorknob tongue comes out and clicks into the door and then you take um, hmm, on the black part of the handle you take that little round silver knob and you hang it in one of the triangles and it's dual ended so that it will fit most doors it's not a theft deterrent it's not an intruder deterrent. It just gives me a little bit of peace of mind because I'm such a light sleeper that if someone were to break into my apartment, this would make just that extra bit of noise and give them just that extra bit of trouble that I know that I would be able to wake up before something really bad happened and be able to protect myself and my family. And you know, call 911. <laughs> the next item I have up is a little frame. So it's a, it's a frame. It's a magnet wood frame that has an edge down here and this edge up here and a leather strand that you can hang it. And they're magnetized to each other because it's two parts. And they come in a variety of sizes to fit all different kinds of prints. Now I've got a collapsible blue and gray over the sink colander with handles. Uh, yeah, it's just an extendable collapsible colander that takes up way less awkward space in my cabinet than a regular colander. And I've been using this for two years and it's still going strong. Tub Shroom, the ultra revolutionary bathtub drain protector and it also has a little stopper in there as well. The tub shroom is way easier to catch excess hair. I used to have long hair. <laughs> the tub stopper works beautifully in any tub so far that I've used it in. Puracy stain remover. This stuff is magic. Yeah, I don't I used to know what the ingredient was, but I'm too lazy to look it up again at this exact moment. But but I've had some really stubborn stains and like excess deodorant marks that sort of build up in the underarms of a shirt. This stuff dissolves it and makes the shirt look new. If you've ever been inside a Casper store and you're testing out those mattresses 
And then, you know, maybe your partner was taking a little bit longer than you to test out the mattresses and you wandered around the store and you touched these super soft tensile sheets that are like a hundred or hundred and thirty dollars for one set. Well, congratulations. <laughs> it's your lucky day. Uh, this set of tensile sheets, they're so lightweight. They're so soft and they're so smooth. A plasma lighter. And this one from Suprus or Supris is a lighter electric lighter candle lighter USB. Uh, but yeah, it's a plasma lighter that's rechargeable. I've been using it for two years and it's still going strong and I'm always shocked at how quickly it will light certain candles that I used to have problems with using a regular lighter or matches. An instant pot. I have the 10 in one pressure cooker and I bought it when it was super on sale so it was 50% off. Who knows what the deal will be during Prime Day because I I didn't necessarily look it up, but I trust that it will be on sale because this is one of those sort of Black Friday, Prime Day type of items. I use mine several times a week. I just made green gumbo with it tonight, actually. One of my favorite things to go along with the Instant Pot is this Team Far pressure cooker accessories. And it's just uh, a little set of a bunch of different helpful items to help you use and utilize the Instant Pot to like its full potential. My favorite particular aspect is the silicone egg cups. I like to make my own version of the Starbucks sous vide egg bites and uh, those are perfect for making the, the them in the in the little mold and they come out perfect in an instant pot. The Conair battery operated fabric defuzzer shaver and this takes all of the pilling and fuzzies off of sweatshirts and t-shirts, any kind of fabric where it's starting to become a problem. Fairy lights, 66 feet of them on a cute little copper wire comes with a remote that has like eight different settings on it. I've been using this for two years at this point and they're going strong and I've moved with them even. <laughs> the Levoit air purifier. <laughs> I have two air purifiers in my house. I have like an industrial <laughs> house sized one, but I also have one specifically for my bedroom and this is my bedroom one. I mean, I can tell when it's turned off or when the filter needs to be changed because I can actually feel like it hurts to breathe a little bit more or I'm starting to sneeze more often. Like I can tell and you don't realize how much better life and breathing can be until you have a problem breathing. <laughs> 13 by 13 by 13 cubes. They're storage cubes, but you know, it's sort of a rainbowish vibe. And I looked all over Amazon for a rainbow set that was a decent price. And uh, these were the ones that I found. So let my hours of copious research <laughs> save you time. <laughs> Mag monthly pill organizer, the 28 day pill box organized into four different weeks is super helpful for me because it keeps everything organized. I only have to spend that extra time once a month to refill all of my containers. It's just a quality of life thing. <laughs> Dash Safe Slice Mandolin Slicer. And it has, with the combination of how you can adjust the blades apparently has like 30 different presets that you can adjust it to and when I'm cooking this just saves me so much time and it is so easy to clean pet stuff I guess I should have said that this is cat stuff and not pet stuff huh Paws Road Cat Tree 32 inches cactus cat tower has really just made my cat's 
day, it, especially when used in combination with like a little modified cat wall. And then I can I mounted a, like a wall mounted cat tree or a cat scratching post, but it has a ledge on it so they can jump on it. And so the cat tree was sort of a dual purpose. One was helping them uh, by giving them a vertical space to explore and then they can make a complete circuit of the apartment by jumping up the cat tree and going up and into the loft area and on their cat shelf and then jumping back down. The vertical space has completely changed one of my cat's personalities. She used to be super skittish and now she's like a cuddle muffin and it's amazing. I'm just so grateful that I learned that and I was able to implement or at least move to a place that could give my cat vertical space to explore because it made her more secure and more confident. Electronic stuff. <laughs> now I'm not recommending like Kindles or iPads or anything like that, but if you also are either a YouTuber or you want to start a YouTube channel, I have a couple things that could be pretty helpful. This LED video light, and it's actually the light <laughs> I'm using right now. It's a, it's a square shaped and it has three cold shoes on it. So on my camera, I have my camera, the light, and then the microphone on top. It comes with a clip as well. If you wanna attach it to an iPad or a phone or something, there's a clip and you can clip it to the side of whatever device you're using instead. And that clip is really helpful and I've used it a few times, super secure. Oh, the other cool thing, it's battery powered. You can change the brightness and also you can change the color temperature. So if you have an iPad and you wanna film with your iPad instead, here is the Yoasi 360 degrees rotatable heavy duty iPad tripod mount and it's a clamp style and it can still screw into your tripod and this has been really helpful i've used it several times as well it's sturdy it is adjustable it's easy to use and if you have an ipad and you like to draw with your ipad i suggest paper feel screen protectors this is a pack of two. It makes the texture of drawing on the screen feel like paper and has a really nice matte texture for like scrolling with your finger and it does not disturb the screen of the device at all, especially if you attach it properly and you take care to actually read the directions and do things like maybe run the shower in your bathroom and let the steam in there uh, go for a few minutes so that all of the lint catches in the steam and sinks to the ground just, you know, so that you can attach the screen protector as cleanly as possible without getting any, you know, floating lint stuff, you know, under the protector. Here the ESR hybrid case compatible with iPad. This is exactly what I was looking for because I didn't want to spend like $70 or $100 on a case. And let me explain why I love this one. First of all, it has a little extra little protector window for the cameras on the back. It also has space for the Apple Pencil to attach so it can still charge and then you're, you know, you're not losing it. It has an origami folding cover so it can still stand up. But the coolest thing, the reason why I bought it is that the cover completely detaches. Oh, you know what? This is my iPad case. And so here's the folding screen and this is why I bought it. So here's the cover and it just pulls right off like that. And then I can easily attach it to my clamp and use it for filming. Writing stuff is really just gonna be two keyboards that I really like. <laughs> There's this this one that I'm currently using. It's from Jellycone and if you're a keyboard connoisseur, 
like I am. I have several different keyboards because they all have different feels and sounds. Just, I'm a very uh, texture and like uh, tactile oriented person. And so I just need keyboards for different things, <laughs> for different moods. And so my current keyboard that I've been using for the last few months is this one. Um, the TechGround multi-device Bluetooth keyboard and it was sold by TechGround but the um, brand was Jellycomb and I I have another Jellycomb keyboard that I bought like six years ago and I love that one too for a completely different reason. It's very soft touch, just a little bit more clacky but also kind of quiet and also slim and it's bluetooth i don't need an extra dongle adapter to plug into my laptop because it's bluetooth it will uh, sync to my ipad really easily and because it's slim it's easy to travel with and the other keyboard i like is the ubati keyboard i have two keyboards from ubati and oh you know what this is the other keyboard i use the most and it's got more of that, a little bit more of that 90s type of keyboard style. It's a little bit more clacky. And obviously it's very aesthetic. It is uh, also Bluetooth. Books! I'm going to do a shameless self-promotion and say my book, Cosmobiological Stories, is a book of hope punk short fiction. And I have sci-fi fairy tales in here. There's mermaids and cyborgs and it's just a bunch of queer feminist short stories and it's my first book. I won the 2020 Prose Manuscript Contest from Sundress Publications, which is one of my favorite indie publishers. You can buy this on Amazon. I don't think it'll be on sale for Prime Day though. In the Crocodile Gardens by Seba Razvi and this is a book of poetry and it is her her poetry is so lush and verdant and fecund with imagery that it is it is just a place where I like to luxuriate and revisit and the her imagery is so beautiful and at times it can be horrific but in like this really uh, sublime sort of way i just i love i love her work and she's got several books but i still think that this is my favorite one well this and heliophobia 12 poems inspired by the brothers Grimm fairy tale this is by andrea blythe and it is a retailing in poem form of the 12 dancing princesses, the fairy tale. It's just a really cool concept. I love fairy tales. And this is also one of these poetry books that has a narrative through line. Miles Away From You by A.B. Rutledge. This is told in a series of letters and it is about gender nonconformity and uh, the spectrum of sexual orientation. It is also often on the banned book list, but as AB likes to say, she's really popular in Brazil. <laughs> I mean, the, the story itself is um, beautiful, sweet, and heartbreaking. It, yeah, it's just, it's really moving and it's one of my favorites. Zen in the Art of Writing by Ray Bradbury. Ray Bradbury is probably the reason why I wanted to become a writer. It started with him and then it uh, really blossomed with Patricia C. Reedy. I think it started when I was 12 and I read Something Wicked This Way Comes because I love the movie so much and I I'm so glad that I read Zen and the Art of Writing because it's a thin little book 
and maybe a little some of the references might be a little bit dated because of like he speaks of typewriters and things but one of my favorite pieces of advice ever for life or writing is this afternoon burn down the house what i love about that piece of advice is it is simultaneously about you know killing your darlings <laughs> But it's also about doing something that's terrifying and that other people may not agree with and embracing the unknown and being brave in the process. And Zen in the Art of Writing, like I said, is a thin little book, but it's just jam-packed full of like exuberance and Ray, as I call him, is so good at balancing the reality of writing and how hard it can be, but also holding on to the magic that writing gives us and being able to share that exuberance with others is a gift. It's a, it's a very solitary art. <laughs> But somehow reading this book makes you feel less alone as a writer. And I've bought this book for so many of my friends at this point <laughs> that even if, I think no matter what kind of art form that you partake in or practice or just use as a hobby, this book is important to read just to keep your spirit up and it's a good refresher to come back to from time to time as well. I read this book about once a year. <laughs> oh, oh, I can be in the middle again. All right, so that's it for me and if you made it this far, thanks for hanging out with me and if at any point you felt like this video was helpful or you just like my face or you like my recommendations, please remember to hit the like button. It really helps a micro, tiny little micro channel out uh, because it notifies YouTube to push my video to suggest it to other people. And yeah, so that would really help me out. And if you want to see more videos from me, because I'm doing 30 videos in 30 days and this was day six, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. And uh, if you have any of your own Amazon recommendations, please leave them in the comments down below. I want to know what your recommendations are or what your favorite products from Amazon are. And yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.